I wanna show you and talk about my day trading desktop monitor and how it's all set up and offer you a how-to guide for how you need to set up your monitors and your whole display. And I get it, there's a variety of trading stations and trading you know, platforms out there that you can use. I mean, I, I get it on social media, you can see some with 15 monitors and there's some cool looking stuff, but I wanna show you mine. And then like I said, walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on really how you should approach it to make sure that you're not overwhelming yourself or just flat out wasting money because you're getting way more than what your brain can actually process. And I'll, I'll get to more of that here in a second. So the first thing that I wanna point out here, if you wanna, is people have asked. So this is actually, I would highly recommend this. Not necessarily have it be motorized, but this is a motorized uh, standing desk. So go from sitting to standing. And I would definitely recommend standing at when I used to sit all day, my back was all jacked up. But ever since going to standing, it's really helped out quite a bit. But that doesn't really have anything to do with the monitors here. But just an FYI, standing is the way to go. So step number one in the guide to get your desktop monitors, all that set up is, and be honest with yourself here, how much can you actually handle? What can your mind actually process? And you need to come up with a number in terms of, in my case with stocks, how many stocks can you actually watch at the same time? I get it. You see things and there's charts and stocks all over the place. But I mean, how much is that trader actually being able to comprehend what they're looking at? So that's really what you need to start with. And for me, my number is three. I can give a good amount of focus to three stocks at a time. If you can do 30, hey, that's awesome. Your brain power is a lot better than mine. So with that in mind, that is why, if you wanna come in here, Nate, on my monitor here, you will see, now for those of you that watch my live trade videos, this should look very, very familiar. Uh, yes, I did take a loss on the day, it happened. Over here, what you never see on the screen though is the scanner which just shows me where the highs and lows are. Up here we have stocks from zero to $10. That's anything above $10 and those would be anything below $1. Uh, here we have where things get halted. Uh, and then up here you have just uh, the risers and fallers. I've done videos on that. Uh, right there, you have account summary type stuff. Uh, and then you just have all the general things. Then of course, I've done a video on that. Always got to know where this, uh, the SPY is doing and what it's doing. So that's why it's front and center. But this is, you know, stock number one. Now this right here is the two minute time frame, And then up here, same exact ticker. So right now we're looking at ZS. So ZS two minute time frame, ZS one minute time frame. So that's, remember, stock number one. But I, but I told myself my brain can, can process three. So what you have over here then is two different stocks. One minute time frames. we have Boeing and Roku, but I'm always changing these in and out. But my main focus, the monitor that I'm looking at has three stocks because that's what I can really comprehend. ZS, Roku, and Boeing. And again, just to reiterate, these are always changing every day depending on what's going on. Now, step number two here in the process is, okay, well, how many can I kind of manage as a whole? So we have super good focus to, well, kind of. And for me, that number is five, meaning, yeah, I'm okay if I add in two more. So with that being said, let me show you what's on my other monitor over here. And over here on this monitor, so that would be to the right. Actually, Nate, you wanna go back to this one. As an FYI, as far as my entire monitor, that right there is just Nate and I. That's Slack right there, that's how we communicate. But shifting back over to the right, this is where you have a variety of other things. But the main thing to focus on here is I do have two more ticker symbols. ARNA right now and MRNA, once again, one minute time frames. Now notice where they're at. They are way over here and my main focus is usually right there because really, yeah, I, I can track five, but these are just the, the kind of ones. So I don't put those front and center because I mean, I can't really track those anyways. But still, if I have a chance to turn my head, look over here, then at that point, it gives my mind a rest to take a couple look or take a look at something else. So in total, I'm tracking five stocks, but in order, remember, just focus on step one, be realistic with yourself. And then step two is, all right, well, how many more can I potentially add? And then you get those added in here. Now, as far as everything else is concerned, here we have watch list. Now this is empty because I'm not, uh, I'm not doing any shopping right now for my retirement portfolios. But if I wanna keep my eye on something that for an investment or any sort of really watch list, then I have plenty of room for that. But up here, I always have my tried and true things. You have the spy, you have you know gold, uh, oil, the US dollar, and then some other ETFs out there. And then this is where things get important because over here we have the SPY five minute. So this never changes. So that is always the same. 
And then over here, we have the main setup. So over on the main monitor, we have ZS right now. That's what I'm watching here. And this is the ZS uh, time frame. So just to go through the time frames, we have the two minute ZS. We have the one minute of ZS. Now over here, we have the five minute of ZS. We have the 15 minute of ZS. We have the 30 minute of ZS. We have the 60 minute of ZS. And we have the daily of ZS. So this is what is known as multiple time frame analysis. And I can change that to whatever I want. So just for example sake, let's just say I want to watch, uh, I don't know, let's just say Apple all of a sudden. So Apple, you can see over here now, populates. And now these are all Apple charts. So that is just the one thing to keep in mind. And my charts are not linked. So there we go. So now we're looking at Apple. So that is how that second monitor works. And then step number three is one of the most important ones because this is where you're either deciding how much money stays in your pocket or goes out. And there's a reason why those first two steps are very important because assuming you're being honest with yourself and you say, you know what? My number's just like you, Clay. I, I can do about five with three primary candidates. Well then, you, a couple monitors would be perfectly fine. You don't need to go out there and get a bunch of them. And what I see way too often, and I mean it makes sense because it's cool, but traders do the reverse. Meaning they start with step three and they're just like, I'm gonna get five monitors. And then they figure out, well, well geez, I, I can barely keep, I mean, I can't keep track of all these things that I'm watching. And then they end up you know, spending way more money on monitors that they could have put into their trading account or put, you know, invested in education in the first place. So this is very important. Do not start at step three and just go out there and start buying monitors. You gotta go, how many, folk, you know, how many main focus ones can I uh, you know, handle? And then how many secondary ones? How many kind of, eh, I can kind of focus on them. And then you get to step three where you focus on the monitors. Now I do have four monitors and just cause I know people are curious, I'll walk you through the rest of what's on them. So Nate, over here we have, so this is now to the left of that main monitor. We have the inner circle chat room, which is uh, the community that I offer. So I have that right there cause this serves as a scanner where I can you know, be looking here. Actually, let me go to the trade. Right now I have the lounge open. So let me go to the, there we go. So right here we have the alerts coming in. So I can, hey look, Net Wilson showed up. Anyways, I can have the, uh, the alerts right here. So it's a slight, slight, slight turn of my head and I'm getting those alerts that I can quickly look over here. And then we just have, this is all business. This is all, you know, claycharter.com, you know, how to keep the business rolling. So right now I have all these tabs up here with a variety of things, but right now, you know, just looking at, I must've just been doing something, deleting out a bunch of spammy comments cause I'm on the spam page. But anyway, so here's just where I do the YouTube comments. Uh, on that note, leave a comment below and I will reply because this is literally one of the tabs I have. And then over here on this monitor, again, just more business stuff. We have Twitter, we have our, uh, our ticketing system. So if, if you have questions or comments, uh, you know, it'll, that'll be submitted. So that's where I focus on customer service. Uh, all right, nice, somebody's asking about the program. There we go. And then up here we have uh, just a link to the site. So if I need to link somebody to a certain video, uh, you know, stock twits up their Facebook page. Uh, and then over here we just have and I'll be perfectly honest, I don't need all these monitors because yes, this I use this area over here, but I mean, not really. I, it is kind of, it is what it is. I'm just trying to fill up space. So could I probably even get away with three monitors? Yeah, I, I probably could. But over here, just more randomness, you know, here. So here's LinkedIn right here. And then I have other tabs up here, including Domino's because we like to eat Domino's. So you know what? Why not get the pizza delivery thing mapped out or, you know, documented right there. Uh, but in all actuality, this is all kind of just wasted space that I don't need, but I just have right there. I hope this helps for when you're looking to map out, structure your monitor setup and how you wanna have things laid out. But please just go through the steps in the right way and don't go out there and thinking that you need a ton of monitors because that's just gonna lead you to probably spending way more money than you needed to. And like I said earlier, that, that's money that you could be using for your trading account. That's money that you could be using to invest in uh, your education. So don't go out there and get way far of, you know, ahead of yourself because as cool as those social media things are that you'll see out there, you know, that, that most of the time, if those traders are being honest with themselves, I highly doubt they're actually able to see and analyze everything in a high amount of focus compared to just my setup where, you know, yeah, let's focus on three and then we'll keep two secondary ones. But if you have any questions or comments or anything, Leave those down below. I will ask the, or I will, as I pointed out, I read comments, I'll reply to those and I'd be happy to, to answer anything you have. If you do have any suggestions for other types of videos like this, kind of vlog style, uh, then let me know. I'd love to hear from you as listeners. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, a quick way to communicate that to me and you know, encourage me to keep on making these and let me know, hey, I, I, like, please keep making these uh, styles. is just to hit that like button 
And then also check out the channel as a whole and hopefully you decide to hit that red subscribe button and become a subscriber. I'd love to have you part of the channel. But hopefully this helps. And yeah, go through that guide step by step. Do it in the right order. Be honest with yourself. And you're going to go about this in a very cost efficient way. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.